What are you doing? He's up to no good. I can already tell that. Um, all right. Second day of testing for this Becker VT 4.8. I'm going to try and see how long it'll go on a tank of gas on the Honda 1000 generator. I'm going to do a time lapse and just let it go. It's supposed to get cruddy later today, so I'm hopefully get it done before then so I can get everything inside, but um, we'll find out. No, oh, 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 that's too much. already quit. What's up with that? So I'm going to set the clock right for 12. That way it we can just count from there. So that'll be the easiest way. Just about three hours in right now, this thing still just turn away. 27 inches, 27 and a half inches of vacuum. And it's, it's working, so just a fuel game at this point. Like I kind of thought would happen, the battery died in my GoPro, on, even on time lapse, just because it's sitting in the cold. But we're almost five hours in right now. Just about five hours in, still sitting at the same on vacuum. So, well, I've got a couple minutes and I've got some help. I got help. She's gonna be help. We're gonna uh, finish up doing this home woods so that we, this can be ready to go because it's getting close on time now. Hey, you gotta carry some of this stuff. I do? Yeah. How about no, this? No, thank you. What do, what do you mean, no thank you? You can have that. Oh, why do I have to do everything? Because uh, you wanna, it was your idea to do it. Because I'm used to doing it? Because it's my idea. Perfect. Doesn't it figure when I don't have the camera on it, this thing quits. Hmm. I'm going to try and refire it just to see if it was a fluke. running. Mm. And it was warm enough that it 
didn't even really need the choke because it was too much. So, I don't know, I'll try to cough again. I don't know what to think of that. I just quit again. Just as I stood up, it shut off again. doesn't necessarily sound like it's running out of fuel when it shuts off. But it might be because there it goes again. It's still got fuel. So it keeps quitting and it's got fuel in the tank. Yep. Something with the oil. Because that oil light came on. So it must be just my hunch is it's just a tick low. So I've got some here, I'll add to it. Staying running now. So it must be just that oil. So I reset the timer again on the clock. We'll see how she goes. Maybe it lost an hour. Maybe. Of being off, I've been down doing this stuff, working on two minutes. We'll see. So this thing's off again, but this time it's out of fuel. I was just gonna do some math and figure out how much fuel in a day. Wrapping up the small vacuum pump that I've got, the Becker VT 4.8, um, and the generator, the Honda 1000, and trying to figure out where I ended up on fuel. So the tank is specced out at 0.55 gallons. And it says according to the specs that it'll do 6.8 hours on quarter load which is about what I think I was at. I was able to run it on eco throttle, so it wasn't uh, revved up the whole way the entire time. And I'm pretty sure I was about seven hours, 6.8 hours based on the testing. Now I did have a little bit of downtime, but I'm pretty sure it was almost close to that. The camera didn't work with my alarm clock, just the way the frequencies work with, with the re refresh rate and the glare, but I was able to kind of time it out. Now, that means that I should be able to run 24 hours on about 1.9 gallons of gas. Now, gas here right now is about 270 at the cheap gas store. It's, I think 260 is about what I paid the other day. So if I times that times the two point, we'll do two dollars and seventy cents. Two point seven, be about five dollars a day to run that pump. Times 30 is 157 dollars to run that pump every day 24 hours a day for a month now i normally run about two months here um total and it'll be a little bit less because i can shut it off some days so even if i run this wide open for two months i'm going to be under the minimum service fee to have central main power hook me up field meters so i think i'm going to win with this now it's just a matter of hooking it up um in the real world I did have a little bit of trouble with oil. I don't think it's burning it. I think it was just right on the line of having enough oil. So I'll just make sure to keep that topped off, leave a quart of oil there all the time. My plan is to change the oil one to two times a week. Um, it only takes like not even a, a quarter of a quart of oil. So it shouldn't take me a lot. I'll just have a drain pan there and a quart of oil and I'll change it like one to two times a week is my goal. So. We'll see, I think this thing's gonna be really awesome. It's gonna be a great option for small producers that are looking to get some high vacuum. Uh, 27 inches for about 500 taps is very doable. Um, keeping a 500 tap woods tight is also very easy. You should be able to walk 500 taps within an hour, hour and a half to where this pump will be able to keep you right at where you need to be for vacuum. So this is a great option. Um, Reach out to me if you have any questions on this pump. I can only sell in the state of Maine, um, but I can get you hooked up in other states with another local dealer. So uh, more to come on this uh, Becker vacuum pump and a generator.